Welcome to Stuff Lab, I'm Gwen. And I'm Marty. Marty? Yes. It's Facts Monday. It is Fact Monday. What do you think we're doing? Well, uh, an animal. It is an animal. Uh, dog? No. Corgi? No. Mm. Big cat? No. Little cat? No. Fish? No. I have no idea. Uh, I'm trying to think of something really obscure. Platypus? Nope. It's the toucan! Oh, nice. This is the common toucan or typical toucan. Typical toucan? Typical toucan. Typical toucan, Sam. Or known as the giant toucan. Okay. Uh, they live in semi open habitats throughout a large part of Central and Eastern South America. They're one of the very few animals that is not negatively impacted by human infrastructure because they prefer having some trees and then openness to fly around in. Okay. I saw a video the other day about a toucan. Uh, it was eating little tiny berries and it was adorable. It would pick it up with like the very tip of its beak and then, and then throw it in the air. Yeah, it was really funny. They like eating fruits, insects, frogs. Hmm. Small reptiles, small birds, eggs, and nestlings, meaning fresh, freshly hatched other birds. Oh. So they may be cute, but they kind of jerks. They have, I mean, they have huge beaks. And just, I've always like liked toucans, but I've never wanted to like meet a toucan. Really? <laughs> I have. <laughs> so they have a mostly black bod with a white throat and chest. They have white and red feathers in their tail, adding a little bit of flair. Oh. Birds like flare. Oh, they do. Uh, they appear to have a blue iris. Appear? Yes. Or they it, do have one. It appears they have a blue iris, but it's not. It's actually just thin blue skin around their eyes. Okay. And that is also ringed by orange skin hmm. around their eyes. Okay. Because even looking at that picture, I thought, oh, that's weird. It has a blue eye. Okay. So I just always assumed it was like really tiny feathers. I didn't think it was actually like skin. <laughs> yeah, that makes it really icky. But then like they don't have blue legs. They don't have orange legs. Yeah. They have like gray legs. Gray stick looking legs. <laughs> so I don't and, know. And, missed opportunity. And branch nature. Legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the most notable is their iconic beak. Mm -hmm. It's six and a quarter to nine inches in length. So a big old beak. Okay. With a yellowy orange color that blends into a more reddish orange. And a fancy chin strap and goatee. <laughs> Show that they're cool dudes that like all the cool things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, their tongues are generally as long as their bill and quite flat. I don't think I've ever seen a toucan's tongue. Well, to be fair, I don't think you're ever really looking. <laughs> well, probably not. Most birds have tongues, right? Yeah. Okay. Most birds do. Guess how much they weigh. <sighs> it's a bird, so it's super off. Uh, two pounds. Yeah, close. Uh, one and one five eighth ounce. One pound, one five eighth ounce to one pound and fourteen seventy seven eighths <laughs> ounces. Oh God, fractions are hard. Uh, guess how long they are. Uh, from beak to tail. Uh. Foot and a half. Uh, yeah, about, about. It's in inches. Uh, 21 and a half to 25 and a half inches. Oh, yeah, so about two feet. Yeah. Right. Uh, they're main predators, uh, human. They're just out there poaching birds. <sighs> uh, large birds of prey and wild cats. Okay. Uh, well, they're not really doing much to, like, hide themselves. <laughs> it, no. <laughs> Many. Animals their size are slightly larger or slightly smaller are very intimidated by them because of their bright and large beak. Okay. okay. I mean, like I said, I I outsize a toucan by quite a bit, and I don't really want to tangle with one because I just feel that like that beak would really hurt. Yeah. I mean, it's got like little jaggy, like teethy things on it. Like, yeah. Yeah. No thanks. No, I'll just. I'd rather just throw up berries from a distance. Their beak. Not heavy. It's mostly hollow. Hmm. Well, I mean, like, I guess it makes sense. I mean, but, I mean, it's a bird. It doesn't really uh, excess weight's not good. True. Reproduction, <laughs> breeding. Everyone's favorite. They are annual. No other okay. info given. So this is annual. <laughs> okay. 
They have two to four eggs a few days after mating. Okay. They make like nests or sometimes like uh, fill in like little burrows and stuff like that. Okay. They are fiercely protective over each other and over their eggs and younglings. Okay. Uh, both parents incubate the eggs. They hatch after 17 to 18 days. That's fast. That's super fast. Yeah, for, what do you say, four days after mating, they lay eggs, and then like two weeks later, they have, they're hatched? Uh, two to four eggs a few days after mating. That's crazy. That is crazy. Jeez. They have deep, coarse, croaking voices. And they also make a rattling sound and bill clacking. I've heard bill clacking. That's, yeah, that's, that's kind of cute. <laughs> so here's some theories, but nothing concrete proven about uh, about their bill. Okay. Theorized to be used in finding a mate. Well, yeah, I can see that. The, you know, the bigger, brighter bill is probably better. Peeling fruit. Mm-hmm. Visual warnings. I was looking at his eyeball. Ah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, visual, visual warnings. Mm-hmm. So those three are concepts, but they're not proven, they're theorized. Okay. One thing that has been proved is they use their bill to regulate their body temperature. Like, put it up in the sun to collect heat? Uh, put it in the sun or put it under their wing to cool help. Off. Well, no, to help retain their heat. Oh, okay. They're losing okay. heat through their Oh, body. yeah, okay, okay. They can modify the blood flow to their beak. So they pump more blood into it, they'll cool down. The bill is normally responsible for 30 to 60% of their heat loss. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if they're chilly, they'll tuck their their beak under. Uh, Sometimes they're kept as pets in captivity, uh, but they have a sensitivity to an iron storage disease called hemochromatosis. Iron storage disease. So like, Uh, if they're they're, in a cage, they'll die? Uh... No, their body star- stores iron from all the fruit that they're eating. It's a very fruit-heavy diet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And if the fruit is dense in iron, it can build up in their body and kill them. Oh. Mm-hmm. They also should not eat uh, any mice or rats because they're very susceptible to diseases mm. in, mo- in mouse and rat meat. Oh, okay. Which I thought was pretty crazy. I didn't, yeah. yeah. So now that you learned about the toucan. I'll still keep my distance. Keeping your distance? Keep it, just, See, this is something that someone's like, hey, you wanna, you wanna give this guy some pats? I'd be like, oh, heck yeah, I'm gonna give that guy some I pats. Just, uh, see, they would need a rubber band its beak for me to pet it, and I don't want to do that to it. it. So I just wouldn't pet it. So, so I'll enjoy it from a distance. I feel like you don't enjoy birds much because they don't really have facial expressions. Yeah, I can't read can't, them. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, they got the creepy dead doll eyes, and they just, 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 yeah. All the time. Nothing. You get nothing from them. And then out of nowhere, they scream. So it's like, yeah, just... It's okay. Too much screaming, too much pooping. It's okay. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today on Stuff Lab, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!